In the last 24 hours, the Ukrainian Air Force Command has conducted very important military operations in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Ukrainian aircraft destroyed 20 Russian armored vehicles, as well as shot down a cruise missile and a Su-34 fighter bomber. In the statement, Air Force warplanes hit the area where the enemy equipment was gathered with guided brimstone missiles. According to the provisional data, nearly 20 armored vehicles and ammunition were destroyed and the Russian manpower in the field was eliminated. It said, anti-aircraft missile units in the Dnipropetrovsk region also shot down a cruise missile and a Su-34 fighter bomber in the Kharkiv region. Radio footage shows the engine of the Russian warplane caught fire and the crew jumped out. From February 24 to the present day, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine has eliminated a total of about 28,400 Russian soldiers, including more than 400, in the past day alone. In addition, the Ukrainian defenders neutralized 1,300 tanks, 3,100 armored combat vehicles, 590 artillery systems, 200 multiple rocket systems, 92 air defense systems and many military vehicles. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine has published a new operational update on the situation on the Ukrainian front. The key points of the report are, the main focus of the Russian enemy is to protect the previously occupied borders, conduct reconnaissance, engineer equipment positions, replenish stocks and try to improve its tactical position. Russian invaders continue to launch missile attacks on military and civilian targets throughout Ukraine. In the Volant, Polisia and Seversky directions, units of the armed forces of the Republic of Belarus carry out tasks to strengthen the Ukrainian-Belarusian border in the Brest and Gomel regions.